right, here he is for my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedowns. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, six losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Mechacala, Russia. Omari Lekak Akhmedov! And now we can see his opponent fighting at the red corner! This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 14 wins, 4 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out fighting. other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is close fight on paper and also in every... Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win a champ. That is how you scramble, folks. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. He's so fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Left hand punch to the clinch. Left punch is true. Now the right hand. A couple of chins here being tested early. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the face. Oh!
three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. I was looking for man. an arm bar here. Attacking arm bar. Arm has been isolated, but he picks him up and slams him down. He wow. lifted him through the air, slammed him on his back, and moved right in the side control to get out of danger. Beautiful job to not just turn defense into offense, but also to end up in a dominant position. Big ball for Punch Land. Now he gets back to range. And they separate. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And now he's got oh, the he tie tosses into the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Ooh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, uh, because he's so heavy, he keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arm. His arms are free to punch. He's selecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded upon into the mat or if you're going to give your back up where he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. All right, so a big knockdown for him courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it shows that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Ready? Ready? Let's go fight, guys. He blocks the punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Akhmedov gets caught with that punch. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. Oh, single collar tie here. And again, they will clinch here. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Single collar tie now. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Ooh! Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory that could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano is going to stop this contest at one minute, 51 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.